This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. Eight Moses Lake firefighters and three police officers were recognized for their life-saving efforts during a July 3rd brush fire in Moses Lake. With a young nucleus anchoring this year's team, Tigers head coach Jay Mills says he has a clear idea of what it will take to make a Freda a title contender. Moses Lake's garbage rates are increasing by 10%. From the iFiber One newsroom, this is iFiber One News. And it starts now. Eight Moses Lake firefighters and three police officers were recognized for their life-saving efforts during a July 3rd brush fire in Moses Lake. Six of the eight firefighters were in attendance during Tuesday City Council meeting and were presented with letters of commendation and department challenge coins. The three Moses Lake police officers were not able to attend the meeting. The hostile fire behavior encountered was some of the most extreme fire behavior that any member of the department has encountered inside the city limits of Moses Lake. Gentlemen, you can be proud of your commitment to duty, your professionalism, and your actions during this incident. Moses Lake and Grant County Fire District 5 firefighters and Moses Lake police responded the night of July 3rd to East Nelson Road after someone lighting off fireworks started a brush fire that threatened several homes and apartment buildings. Fire Chief Brett Bastian said flames reached close to 40 feet high as firefighters protected the dozen or so structures from a fast-moving fire. Bastian credited both firefighters and officers for their efforts to evacuate and save the homes and likely save lives. The members of both the police and fire departments before you tonight were directly responsible for averting tragedy that night. Evacuation of buildings, establishing water supply, and extending attack lines were all things that needed to be prioritized and conducted in the first few chaotic minutes of this incident. The responding police and firefighters performed an exemplary job of working together and bringing order to chaos. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. The Afraid of Tigers enter the 2016 football season, hoping to get back into contention in a stacked Central Washington Athletic Conference. After back-to-back -back winning seasons in 2013 and 2014, the Tigers stumbled to a 4-6 and record last year, but still finished tied for fourth. With a young nucleus anchoring this year's team, Tigers head coach Jay Mills says he has a clear idea of what it will take to make Afreda a title contender. You know, last year was a good competitive team for us, and it was nice to have a shot at the postseason, especially for those seniors we had. They had worked really hard in our program, so that was great to get them a chance at that. For us to get over the hump, we're going to have to beat the champions, and uh, the last couple of years, the big guys have been Prosser and Ellensburg, and as when we can get over that hump by beating them, that gives us a chance to uh, be more competitive and go deeper into the playoffs. For Freda, it'll be a successful season if what? We continue to improve each week. I think will be the big thing and we can play our best game each week is what we're looking for. Uh, statistically wise, when we look at that, you know, we want to be competitive in each game and play to our best. And if we can do that week to week and improve, I think it'll be a real successful season for us and give us a chance at the postseason. The Tigers open their 2016 campaign at home at Kiwanis Field against Kashmir on September 2nd. In Afreda, Devin Higgins for iFiber One News. Moses Lake's garbage rates are increasing by 10%. The City Council approved the increase in a 4-2 to two vote Tuesday night. The increase goes into effect on September 9th. City officials reported the increase is necessary to keep pace with a minimum annual 1.5% increase from lakeside disposal. An increase in the number of cans the city purchases and to cover repaying a $500,000 loan from another portion of the city's budget. Finance Director Robert Taylor said he compared Moses Lake's proposed rates to Kashmir, Afreda, and Chelan. The ones with lower rates didn't offer free recycling or regular yard waste collection. So we are within the realm of reason compared to those three horrendous, either uh, population-wise or just on the eastern side. Council members Ryan Leonard, Karen Liebrick, Mike Norman, and Mayor Todd Voth voted for the ordinance. Council members Bill Ekrit and Don Meyer opposed the ordinance, and Council member David Cornell was absent. For iFiber One News, this is Cameron Probert reporting. Cloudy skies to start out the week, but after Monday, clear skies and mid-80s. Hi, Jeff Slicky, taking a look at the forecast from the iFiber One Weather Center. 
Monday will be at about 80, Tuesday 84, Wednesday clear skies and 86, clear on Thursday and 87, Friday near 90 once again, and the weekend is looking nice. To learn how fiber can make an impact in your home, check iFiber.tv. For iFiber One News, I'm Jeff Slakey. This is iFiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at iFiberOne.com or check us out on Facebook.